all this science? I don't understand. It's just a job. Five days a week. That was glorious. And this is the hook. Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Rausch and I love the University of Texas so much, I just launched a Kickstarter campaign to add new stars to the constellation Taurus so it can become a Longhorn. I only need 17 trillion more dollars, y'all. Do you like space? I know I do. And so does UT. Not only have a dozen astronauts like 2014 distinguished alum Karen Nyberg used the 40 acres as their launch pad, there are enough Longhorns over at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory that they're collectively known as the Texas Mafia, which is great, but it ruins the title of my pilot of a TV series called Texas Mafia, about a handsome, bearded Texas Ranger who fights an illegal cabal of smugglers who are bringing those crazy Mexican pointed shoes into the United States without paying US costume customs. Either way, you have my number, HBO. Of course, a big research university like UT does a lot of scientific inquiry vital to the future of space exploration. And that's where this guy comes in. He's Charles Tinney. I'm an assistant professor in the aerospace engineering department. That's right, folks. It is rocket science over at the Pickle Research Campus, where Tinney and his team are helping develop the next generation of space travel systems. You see, with the beloved space shuttle out of commission, NASA's working on the new Space Launch System, or SLS, and they're working exclusively with Tinney's lab to find out how things like rocket engine noise can affect the actual integrity of a rocket and the people inside it. At a launch, uh, the sound that's actually produced by the exhaust stream is loud enough that it can actually damage the vehicle. Sound is a pressure wave, and that pressure wave is, is a force that's acting on an area, and it's a dynamic force. So the focus is to make sure that the structure of that vehicle can handle those loads or that environment, um, and so that requires NASA engineers to design a vehicle uh, based on those loads. Um, certainly, uh, the heavier the vehicle, that's less weight that can be used for payload. And so, uh, the objective is for them to be able to design a vehicle as light as possible, but they can handle the loads produced by the environment during that startup process on the launch pad. Tinney and his team of undergrad and graduate researchers custom built their facility, complete with scale models of the rocket's engines and a heck of a lot of sound dampening padding. And luckily, the facility is still standing. The first set of tests we did was actually using nozzles that were on loan from NASA Marshall. Uh, they're not full scale, uh, but they were probably 120th scale and quite larger, about a 10 inch diameter exhaust. And the first set of measurements uh, caused a bit of a ruckus in this building. Uh, so what we're looking at now is a one third scale model of that. Uh, and these seem to be working just fine. The facility looks great though. I'd recommend installing an AC unit in there because boy howdy, it was hot in there. Rocket level hot. Speaking of rockets, how awesome is it that you get to work on big bad rockets all day, Charles? For me, the excitement comes from being engaged with the research, uh, that whole sense of discovery, uh, being able to build uh, a fun and neat uh, facility that interacts with students, uh, acquiring the data, analyzing the data, developing ideas, uh, and looking at things that nobody else has looked at. I think that to me is the big excitement of being involved in the projects that we have here at the University of Texas at Austin. If you're ready to explore the final frontier of more information, check out Charles the Tin Man Tenney's website down in the description below, where you'll also see some space-centric UT news. You can see our interactive feature about that distinguished alum, Karen Nyberg. You can read about the real Texas Mafia over at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and you can read one UT Aerospace Engineer's take on the future of space exploration. Also, if you love space, check out our previous space episode of The Hook, Mirror, Mirror, and don't forget to subscribe to The Hook over here on our website, thehook.texasexus.org, and down here on YouTube. And don't forget to get your latest UT news all the time on your favorite social media outlets. Yes, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Tumblr, maybe a couple of other ones, so check us out. And until next time, I'm Andrew Rausch. Stay hooked. <laughs>